Hi, I'm Rob from Hopzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. Uh, this time I'll be looking at, again, another English beer, which is good. I seem to uh, review a lot of American beers, but obviously I am in England, so I should be looking at the best of what this country is producing as well. And we'll be looking at uh, a beer from quite a new brewery uh, based in the south east of London, as it says on Druid Street, south east London. Um, it's the Kernel Brewery. Make everybody's talking about Kernel at the moment. They're um, certainly a very small setup. The the moment they predominantly produce bottled beers. I think they've done a few bits and bats on um, ke on cask for some little festivals in pubs in London. Um, but everybody's talking about them. They released their Black IPA the other day at the Rake uh, Bar in um, Borough Market. Apparently, it was fantastic. <coughs> But this is another very much talked about beer, uh, currently out by Kernel. It was only uh, bottled a couple about um, just looking at the label, only bottled um, a couple of month, couple of weeks, couple of months ago now, and so as fresh as you like. And it's the hop that everybody's talking about at the moment, Citra, and it's their um, single Citra hopped IPA. I've had one bottle of this before at the um, at the re at the. Grove in Huddersfield. Everybody around my table had this that night, along with quite a lot of other m amazing beers from the fantastic selection that they have at the Grove in Huddersfield. And this was one of the um, stars of the night. Obviously, I'd had a few, so my uh, recollections of this beer are a little bit foggy. So yes, so it is 6.2% Citra Single Hopped um, IPA. Really nice label. Um, Really kind of, uh, really minimal, this kind of brown paper that they use and the kind of stamped logo. I love it. It's a really nice branding, Kernel. It's getting around all the best places in London as well. You can even get it in the bar at Tate Modern. So let's get this open. Ooh, I can smell it already. Just as I pop the cap, a little whiff of um, hops sneaked out. I've got my meantime glass here. Is it a snifter? Is it a tulip glass? I'm not sure. It's somewhere in between, I think. It's a bottle conditioned beer. Oh, I can smell it. It's amazing. Ooh. Let's have a look there. <clears throat> so, um, I keep getting whiffs of this. It's really distracting. Uh, it's a really nice, slightly hazy, probably a bit of hop haze to that, a bit of protein in there. As I said, very small plant, um, probably don't filter the beers, but that don't affect me. Um, a nice kind of hazy orange, kind of like a um, slightly orangey copper. It's a nice looking beer, a little bit of a head on top, more of a kind of white film. Let's get a sniff of this, obviously I can smell it from here, it smells great. But let's have a proper sniff. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Such a strong aroma. Peaches, papaya, that kind of softer um, side of kind of tropical fruits. Not really. Yeah, maybe a little mango. I guess the mango in that kind of, kind of piney mango, that sweet pine in there. But this is amazing. Yeah, definitely papaya and peach. A little bit of orange in there. But it's all a fruit, that's all fruit. Yeah, maybe a little bit of pine right at the back. God. God that smells amazing, really does. One of the best smelling beers I've had in a while. I'm sure uh, you've watched my um, video for the Roosters uh, American Pale Ale. I mean, it's on par with that. It's on, it is an amazing smelling beer, is that? Enough sniffing. As much as I want to continue, I want to drink it as well. So, as I said earlier, 6.2%. Oh, surprisingly, me it's a medium, medium body. It's really smooth. It's really smooth and velvety, is that? That's really surprising. I wasn't expecting that. Expecting it to be a bit more, um, a bit thinner, but it's got a nice bit of body to it, is that, which is really commendable, really, for such a small brewery. I 
smooth. Bitterness starts coming in there. Kind of pithy orange. Yeah, tangerine kind of thing going on there. Bit of mango. Once again, papaya, peach, soft fruits. So um, I guess they call them pale stone fruits, uh, like nectarines and things like that. Yeah, kind of apricots. And bitterness coming through there. Yeah, pithy orange. Not a grapefruity, not a dry grapefruity. It's really, it's like, it's not far off like a, uh, a glass of breakfast juice, like a real nice blend of kind of tropical fruits in there. Six point two. I don't know if it's I'm I'm kind of seeing past the strength of it because of the amazing flavours and perfectly balanced. I mean, there is that backbone of pale malt in there, but you. It's completely uh, taken for granted, I guess, because it's so fruity and tasty. Ends, I guess, slightly floral. A bit more bitterness, a bit more of a kind of a lime, lime zest bitterness to it. And then it just disappears. Really Moorish, really Moorish. But I can't help sn sniffing it. It's got, it's so well conceived as that. It's amazing. <laughs> it's an amazing beer. Kernel, you can pick it up. A few outlets, as I said, in London. Easier to get hold of. But you can get it online at beer merchants. Very small quantities. Obviously, this has gone down really well with the kind of beer geeks out there and the bloggers. Um, so they're going to make it again. I just started home brewing. I've got me... I've got uh, my first um, brew fermenting in the corner of the living room. So it's a bit cold in this house, especially in the kitchen. So I've got it just behind the sofa. I've got that bubbling away. But I picked up some um, some citra hops uh, the other day. Um, and I'm really excited to see what outcomes I'm going to get from such an amazing hop. Because this showcases how great hops can be. Making a fantastic IPA. Relatively modest ABV. And really, really top draw. If I had this from Sierra Nevada, from Stone, from uh, Russian River even, that's going to be good. I've had Pliny the Elder and I've had Blind Pig. I'm going to be pretty outrageous here and say, I prefer this. I do. Um, I, for me, those two were too much bitterness. And this is obviously not quite as strong. Definitely not as hyped. A lot harder to get hold of. And that's a really, really top draw IPA. I clearly like the Citra Hop. It really appeals to me. I like really nice, juicy IPAs. And this is really fantastic. What more can I say? Kernel. They're doing some exciting things down there in London. And these guys are the fr front of that, uh, that queue of fantastic, uh, inspiring breweries that are springing up in London. Get down to London, get to the Euston Tap, get to the Rake, get to all, uh, get down to Cask, all these fantastic bars that have appeared in the last few years in London. Um, there's no longer a reason to complain about quality beer in the capital, because it's out there and Kernel are leading the charge. So, Kernel, Citra, IPA, 6.2% ABV, absolutely amazing, and I'll see you soon. Cheers.